In this example, you were given initial concentrations of all species and the value of Kq. You're asked to predict which way the reaction will move as the system approaches equilibrium. What we do in this type of problem is, we start by using the balanced equation to write the Kq expression. If initial concentrations need to be calculated from moles or grams first, we do that. Then we insert initial concentrations of all species in the Kq expression. This is different than other equilibrium problems where we insert equilibrium concentrations into the expression. Next we evaluate the expression, but because we're not usually at equilibrium at this point, what we get cannot be called Kq. When we've inserted initial concentration values into the expression, we call it the trial Kq. It tells us what the ratio of products to reactants is right at the very beginning, when we initially add the substances to the container. And later we'll find out whether the ratio needs to increase or decrease in order to become equal to the actual Kq, and thus establish equilibrium. Some textbooks and teachers call this the trial quotient, or Q for short. You should know that trial Kq and Q mean exactly the same thing. It is what you get when you insert initial concentrations into the Kq expression and work out the value of the expression. Next we compare the value for the trial Kq or Q with the value for the actual Kq which will be given to us in the problem. If trial Kq is less than the actual Kq, this means that the ratio of products to reactants is less than it needs to be at equilibrium, or too low. So the reaction will have to move to the right in order to increase this product reactant ratio. If trial Kq is greater than the actual Kq, this means that the ratio of products to reactants is too high. So the reaction will have to move to the left in order to decrease the product to reactant ratio. Now there's a small chance that when some reactants and some products are added to a reaction vessel, the initial ratio of products to reactants, or trial Kq, will be exactly equal to the actual Kq value. In this case, the system is already at equilibrium, and the reaction will neither move to the right nor to the left. Here's an example. At 35 degrees, Keq for the reaction 2NO gas plus Cl2 gas gives 2NOCl gas is 6.25 times 10 to the fourth. In an experiment, 0.1 mole of NO, 0.2 moles of Cl2, and 4.5 moles of NOCl are all added to an empty 5 liter flask. And the temperature is maintained at 35 degrees Celsius. The A part of this question asks us if the reaction will move to the left or to the right in order to establish equilibrium. The B part asks us whether the concentration of NOCl will increase or decrease as the equilibrium is being established. And the C part asks us whether the total pressure in the container will show an increase or decrease as equilibrium is being established. The first thing we need to do is find the initial concentrations of all the species. Remember, molar concentration is equal to moles divided by liters. So the initial concentration of NO equals 0.1 moles of NO divided by 5 liters, which equals 0 0.02 moles per liter, or 0 0.02 molar. The initial concentration of Cl2 equals 0.2 moles of Cl2, also divided by 5 liters, which equals 0 0.04 molar. And the initial concentration of NOCl equals 4.5 moles of NOCl divided by 5 liters, which is equal to 0.9 molar. So the initial concentration of NO is 0 0.02 molar, so we'll make a note of that up here. The initial concentration of Cl2 is 0 0.04 molar, and we'll make a note of that here. And the initial concentration of NOCl is 0.9 molar, so we'll make a note of that here. The next thing we do is write the Kq expression for this reaction. Notice that all species are gases, so we include them all in the expression. The Kq expression is products over reactants. So Kq equals the concentration of NOCl squared 
divided by the product of the concentration of NO squared times the concentration of Cl2. Now because these are initial concentrations rather than equilibrium concentrations, the ratio we obtain is not called Kq. Instead, it's called trial Kq. Remember, trial Kq is a measure of the product to reactant ratio when we initially add the substances to the flask. To find trial Kq, we substitute initial concentration values into the Kq expression. For the concentration of NOCl, we write 0 0.900. And the exponent 2 on the NOCl in the Kq expression tells us that the 0 0.900 must be squared. Next we substitute 0 0.0200 for the concentration of NO. And the exponent 2 on the concentration of NO in the Kq expression tells us that the 0 0.0200 must also be squared. Now we substitute 0 0.0400 for the concentration of Cl2. And because the Cl2 has no exponent in the Kq expression, the 0 0.0400 has no exponent either. At this point, we need to evaluate this expression to find the trial Kq. Pause the video now and try this on your calculator first. Rounding to three significant figures, we obtain 5.06 times 10 to the fourth. So this is our value for trial Kq. The original question told us that the value for the actual Kq was 6.25 times 10 to the fourth. So at this point, we compare these two values. We see that the trial Kq, which is 5.06 times 10 to the fourth, is smaller than the actual Kq, which is 6.25 times 10 to the fourth. So in this case, the trial Kq is smaller than the actual Kq. If the trial Kq is smaller than the actual Kq, this means the product to reactant ratio is lower than it would be at equilibrium, or we can say the ratio is too low for the system to reach equilibrium. In order to increase the ratio of products to reactants, the reaction will move to the right. Remember, moving to the right means reactants are forming products, so we're getting more products and less reactants. Thus, the ratio of products to reactants, which began as 5.06 times 10 to the fourth, is gradually going up. The ratio will keep going up until it reaches 6.25 times 10 to the fourth, the actual Kq value. At that point, equilibrium will be established and the concentrations will no longer change. So going back to the question, the A part of the question asked us if the reaction would move to the left or to the right in order to establish equilibrium. So now we can answer it by saying because trial Kq is less than the actual Kq, the reaction will move to the right in order to establish equilibrium. Now we're ready to answer the B part of this question. Will the concentration of NOCl increase or decrease as equilibrium is being established? We found out in part A that because trial Kq is smaller than the actual Kq, the reaction must move to the right in order to establish equilibrium. When the reaction moves to the right, it means that reactants form products, so the amount of reactants will decrease, and the amount of products will increase. Because NOCl is a product, this means the concentration of NOCl will increase as equilibrium is being established. And that answers part B. Now for part C of this question, will the total pressure in the container increase or decrease as equilibrium is being established? In order to determine the effect on total pressure, we start by counting the number of moles of gas on both sides of this equation. When we say moles of gas, we mean the coefficients in the balanced equation. There are two moles of NO and one mole of Cl2 which add up to give us a total of three moles of gas on the left side of this equation. There are two moles of NOCl, which is a total of two moles of gas on the right side of this equation. In part A, we had discovered that because trial Kq is smaller than the actual Kq, the reaction will move to the right in order to establish equilibrium. When this particular reaction moves to the right, the number of moles of gas decreases. 
When the number of moles of gas in the same container decreases and the temperature is constant, the total pressure decreases. So now we've answered the C part of this question. When 0.1 mole of NO, 0.2 moles of Cl2, and 4.5 moles of NOCl are added to an empty 5 liter flask and the temperature is maintained at 35 degrees, as equilibrium is being established, the total pressure decreases.